Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shen. Today in this new episode, I will be teaching you how to install a custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S6510. So, before we proceed into any further step, make sure your phone is rooted. If you're not already rooted, guys, make sure to check out my other vids. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. Um, well, so the first step is to power off your device. Okay, once your device is switched off, now the next step is to boot into download mode. So to boot into download mode, simply you will need to hold down the volume down button, the home key, and just turn on your device. So by holding the volume down button, the home key and power on your device. Um, at this stage you will receive this warning. Just press the volume up button to continue. Now we have successfully booted into download mode. Well guys, for the flashing process you will need Odin and as well as the recovery file which can be downloaded from the description box below. So first step, run Odin as administrator. And at this point you are ready to plug in your phone into your computer. Um, as you can see this board just lighted in a light blue color. So next step is to click on the section AP and load the recovery file. And before proceeding to any further step, which is clicking on the start button down there, just make sure that on in the option tab here, repartition is not selected. If it's selected, just deselect that and leave everything as it is. Now we are ready to click start. And as you can see, the flashing process has already been started. And we are almost done at this point. So at this point, when Odin says pause, you are ready to unplug your phone. And of course you will find out that your phone has restarted automatically. So what you need to do is just power off your device once again. Okay, so once your device is switched off, now this time you will need to boot, to boot into recovery mode, not download mode. So to boot into recovery mode, you will need to hold on the volume up button, the home key and power on your device. Um, as you can see, clockwork mode has been successfully installed. So let me focus. So to make sure that everything is working, just try to do a wet cache partition. So wipe cache partition. And as you can see down below, it says cache wipe complete. So this in indicates that the block work mode recovery has been successfully installed. Now what you can do, just reboot your phone. And you are good to go. Um, so far guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you have any questions guys, just leave a comment section down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So I'll catch you in the next video where I'll be teaching you how to
install a custom ROM on this phone. So stay tuned guys, take care, bye bye.